I've graduated. Hi, Bidgets. My name is Fettuccine Alfredo today. This is a monumental moment on my channel because I'm not wearing a man bun for once. But if you're still confused about my age, I'm actually 18 years old. I graduated last month. Yes, I'm a college freshman, believe it or not. I'm sorry I look very young, but um, if you had a crush on me and you're under the age of 16, you should rethink that. I have not painted in a while. If you're unaware of what a graduation cap means to us high schoolers, usually we're allowed to customize them before graduation, but my school... And yes, I'm looking directly at my assistant principal and my teachers. Hello. I hope you're having a good summer. You guys didn't let us customize them. I'd rather make it unique. So I'm gonna do that today because I wasn't allowed to one month ago, and I would like to post a picture of a graduation cap that matches me. Now, I looked all over the internet. I searched far and wide on Pinterest and Etsy, and not to my surprise, all of them are quotes that are supposed to be inspirational, and you know how I feel about those. We're not gonna do that today. There was a sunflower one that really caught my eye, but the last thing I wanna do is paint a fucking sunflower because I can do that in my sleep and blindfolded. Just look behind me, like, I'm done. I'm done with them for now. Sometimes people print the logo of the college they're going to, but that is lame. And my logo doesn't really take that long to paint anyways, but I'd rather do something more creative. So I asked my friends to challenge me, and one of them told me to draw the New York City skyline because I'm going to NYU. And that was the best idea someone gave me. I'm gonna try it today. If it fails, whatever, I'll just buy another one. I have no idea how paint will show up on black. And I have a camera right here to give you close-ups for once. That's right, I'm looking at you. So the front of the cap is right here. And I wanted to do like a sunset and then a silhouette of the skyline because painting individual buildings seems like a lot of work to me. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this centerpiece. It actually really pisses me off that it's there, but I'll just paint around it. And to make sure my sunset is seamlessly blended, I'm gonna use a foam brush today. I don't have one, not two, but 10 foam brushes. I can use them all up today. They cost $2. You guys know how I feel about the color purple. I'm not even gonna try to mix it today. I'm going to man up and use my expensive paint, which I don't have much of, so I don't wanna use much of this. This is for an important project, so it's time to bring out the big gun. I have water right here, and I'm gonna get my paint palettes. I mean, what'd you expect me to use? Okay, let's start. So if I'm turning my head down, the sun sets up here. I'm not gonna paint the whole thing because Half of it is gonna just be the skyline, so I'm gonna stop the sunset right around here. I'm gonna go... Oh, what the fuck does the sunset look like? All right, it goes blue to purple to pink, red, orange, yellow. What? I'll mix stuff up. I don't really care if it's not an actual sunset. I just need it to look pretty. I'm gonna start off with some of the dark blue. Oh, Jesus, that is very rich in color. I'm going to wet my foam brush just a little bit. Here. Oh. That actually shows up. I figured foam brush would be best because if I want to get that cloudy, you know, what do you call it? Sunset look. So that kind of soaked up everything. Graduation cap is being very annoying because I don't think it wants to layer. This is a black graduation cap. It would be easier if it was white. Should I paint a white? Okay. Clearly, I know where this is gonna go. I'm gonna paint this whole thing and it's not gonna show up at all. So let me paint a white and I'll come back to you. Boy, have you lost your mind, cause I'll help you find it. Yeah, that looks good. I'll be back. Much later. All right, so it's actually been an hour because I wanted this to dry all the way, but this took one layer and magic. So hopefully this time, dark blue will actually show up and I don't have to mess anything up. Yeah, that's much better than the first time. Maybe the white didn't dry all the way. But that is why I can cut footage. Maybe just putting the color directly on helps because that's what I did with the white. I waited like two hours already. Why is it still not dry? Okay, so if you can't tell, the white is slowly mixing in with the blue, which is very annoying. I guess I'm gonna have to wait even longer. So this video is gonna be a pain to edit. Much, much later. Okay, I've let this thing dry for two hours again. Blue is showing up, but I think it's time to transition my colors. So I'm going to use what's left of this because it stayed on the brush. I thought this would dry faster, but apparently not because I still can tell it's wet. All right, time to blend colors. So what colors do I blend with this? We can maybe transition to a pink. I actually really don't know what I'm doing now, but hopefully if I mix red in the brush, it'll like blend itself maybe. 
Yeah, that ain't looking too seamless yet, but we're, we'll get there. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. This does not look good at all. I think I should do purple. Let's drag all of this out. So purple is blue plus red. I tried doing that many times before. It doesn't work out. I'm gonna try it again for the fifth time. See, it just turns into like this murky gray, and I don't understand what I'm doing wrong, but at least that's just gonna transition. I don't know how I'm gonna make this look good. Um, I'm also getting chunks of colors right now. It's like flaking off. You know those Korean massages where they talk about scrubbing your skin away. That is what I'm seeing around here. There's some chunks. I don't know why that's happening. Actually, I do know because I'm looking at my palette and apparently dried acrylic paint still flakes off. I'm not gonna use this anymore. I'm gonna use a new palette instead. But unfortunately, the closest purple I have is this. And this is called Blue Violet. What if I put some- Ooh, ooh, that looks nice. We definitely needed that because this purple was way too light. Oh yeah, look at that rich pigment. All right, this hopefully will work now. I really appreciate it if these flakes fall off. So I'm noticing that these aren't blended. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more blue. We're just gonna keep mixing. Oh, that was too much. I can already tell it's getting empty. You know when you buy something very expensive and you just don't wanna use it at all because you don't want it to go to waste? That's how I feel with this. And the whole pack costs $20. So let's seamlessly blend. Why is that not working? Is that any better? Oh, that is a lot better actually. I really like that. It's gonna add a tad more blue, just a little bit right there. Maybe it's time to use a regular brush because I think the foam brush is soaking up all my product and I don't wanna do that. All right, time to use my regular brushes. Ooh, the fan brush, that will come in handy. Yes. This is 100% what I want it to look like. Seamless. Oh my god. That's actually an amazing transition. Like, in real life, it looks great. We'll do a full picture when it's dried. So now I need to add more colors. I need red, oranges, and yellows. So I think now is the time to start adding the red in. Let's go little by little. It's not bad looking though, but it's kind of brownish. So maybe we should lighten it up. It looks like a red violet, which is this color, but I'm looking for more of a sunset pink. Magenta, that's, that's it. Let's see what you can offer me. Ooh, that looks good. Let's see how you want to turn. Ooh, yes, that, that works better. That does work better. Wait, guys, I'm actually like doing a good job for once. Holy crap, this doesn't look that bad at all. <sighs> Can Frederick actually paint, guys? All right, I'm gonna use the same color. So we first used red to get the base, and then we're gonna put magenta on top. There is one little problem I'm noticing right now, and it's that the fan brush is so thin that it can't really, like, just watch. It can't cover all of it in one go. Whereas the foam brush, I could just and it would do it instantly. There is also a chunk of red right here. That is gross. Okay, I'm really into this. Maybe I can use a sponge brush to touch it up a little bit. Oh, jeez. That's a little too aggressive sponge brush. Okay, the sponge brush can apply it very well. I feel like along the way we lost some of the violet, so I'm gonna add that back. Just spread that out. We need these two to marry each other. I'm trying to look at it from a different angle right now to see if it's seamless or not. Now we have to transition to pink. Ooh, okay. It's a little light, but hopefully I can blend that in. See, a normal person would just have a whole palette of these colors and they can dip in and out, but not me. We get it done the first time. Need the sponge brush to do its job and apply everything for me. Yes, look at that application. Now I just blend it out up here. I think this calls for some more magenta. Still losing the violet, a little bit more. I'm gonna wet this a little bit so it's a little more easy to blend. Oh my God, I don't know how to paint over this stupid button cap. The thing is it moves. So wherever I paint it, it has to stay put. If I was smart, I would have glued it down first, but I'm not. This blue is disappearing. I can now tell I've used half the tube. It's a very sad day for my royal blue. Okay, blend up, and then we blend all the way back down. You can't tell me this is not seamless blending. Guys, this is actually so pretty. Let's just do yellow. Let's, let's, let's go from the bottom up now. The yellow I'm looking for is a very specific type. It's going to be a combination of red 
and yellow. I like a sunflower yellow, you know, an orangey yellow. It has to be very warm. So I have to transition from yellow to orange to pink. I'm gonna make the perfect yellow first. There we go. See, I told you, I know how to make the perfect yellow now. It's in my blood. If you wanna know the ratio, um, I can't give you the ratio because I use my eyes, because I'm Asian. But with practice, it'll become perfect. Oh, it's so beautiful. I want someone to look at me the way I look at this color. All right, now it's time we turn it into orange, so going to add a little more red. You want it to be a peachy orange, like a sunset, which means this color works great. Oh my God, look at that. Perfectly transitioned, Frederick. We're gonna transition down first, so I don't have to worry about the yellow again. Okay, that looks good enough. Now we're gonna see if I can transition this into the pink. Oh gosh. All right, oh, okay, that's very pigmented. When I say transition, I hope you know I'm trying to say like ombre. Okay, almost got it done, I think. Just need a little more yellow. Look at that ombre, guys. I'm so impressed with myself for once. Usually I talk shit about my own paintings because like I did one good one, which is the Bold and Brash painting. I have it hanging on my wall. And it's like I paint sunflowers and like that's not exciting because as much as I know that's part of my brand, it gets boring sometimes like I want to I want to be an actual painter I don't want to be known for sunflowers at the end of the day and I'm not going to be too worried about the bottom part because I need to cover that up with the skyline anyways now it is time to do this transition yeah I can definitely do this just by wetting the brush that's a little trick that I learned today <laughs> oh no not on the carpet I don't know what just happened to my hands there they just decided to turn off I think I've done it guys. That is a sunset. I know it looks much harsher on camera, but I'm gonna just show you when it's dry. So until then, I'm going to figure out a silhouette for the skyline. One eternity later. If you've noticed that the lighting has changed, it's because I've been doing this shit all day. I've let this dry for a while now. Let me show you what it looks like. I think it looks amazing. I've never done something so smoothly before. On camera, it looks a little harsh, but I'll just take a picture of it at the end so you can see how smooth I made this. Now I'm gonna get started with some decorations because I feel fancy. This is a sunset because sunrises fucking suck. Yeah, I said what I said. So I'm gonna do a crescent moon like around here. All right, so I um, want the moon to be right around here. Oh, my hand's shaking quite a lot. Okay, that's not bad. I want it to be a little more bigger though. You can't tell I'm kind of into astrology right now. I am a cancer by the way. Moon's done. I'm just gonna add some diamond shaped stars now. And we're gonna do them in varying sizes and that orange paint has not dried yet and now it's on my hand. Thank you so much. Paint has never smelled good to me before but oh my god it's making me a little lightheaded I will admit. All right we have one star and it's gonna slowly get and it's gonna fade out right here like I want the last star to be here. The ones towards the blue is gonna be more opaque and as I go down, it'll get more and more transparent because that's how real life stars work, I think. I don't know, I never took astrology. If anyone's an astronomer, tell me in the comments. God damn it. There's some orange paint right there and I can see it and it's bugging me. So I'm gonna paint over that so I don't get triggered for the rest of my life. I don't know why this is taking so long to draw. I waited another hour for this. I also regret doing diamonds for stars because this is taking much longer than regular dots. But I have to make this look good. So I'm, I'm willing to take the time. All right, I need to wipe this orange paint off because it's driving me crazy. I also see some specks of those eraser shavings I was talking about. I'm just gonna paint over them with stars so I don't have to look at those anymore. Some of these stars are tilted, but it's fine, except some of them are ugly right now. Oh, I'll get over it. All right, now it's time for the stars to start fading out. So I'm gonna make fewer ones, slowly but surely. I'll put one on the button too, cause why not? That looks like they're fading out, right? I'm done. I'm done with the white. I made way too much. Ooh, that moon is perfect. I don't want to touch it at all anymore. I know if I pay more, I'll mess it up. So I'm good with that. No, I want to add a little more stars. So I'm just going to add tiny dots throughout, like 
very tiny dots. Oh, this is, looks so cute. I'm so excited. In fact, now would be a good time to make the constellations. I'm gonna look up every single constellation. Zodiac constellations, never mind. <laughs> I just got over a thousand results. That was way too much. And I'm doing this because everyone deserves representation. So Aries, this one's for you. Taurus will be right here. That is a lot of work for one constellation. You are needy. Leo can be right here. There's Leo. I don't know if you can even tell. Hopefully you guys can see your constellations around here. Virgo, you'll be right here. Jesus, some of y'all got a lot going on. Cancer has like four stars only. No one needs this many stars. There's Virgo. I'll do the Big Dipper too, cause why not? There's Capricorn. Sagittarius, Jesus Christ. That is like almost 20 stars. Jesus, oh my God, that took up so much space. That's all Sagittarius right there. Ready? Look, look at Cancer. Five, six. Six. Sagittarius is 20, what's going on? Gemini is another one that needs a lot of attention. I don't hate any horoscopes besides Capricorn. All right, people are starting to get mixed up now, but it's okay because it was bound to happen. I'll put Libra right here. All right, um, Scorpio, then Aquarius can go right here. Finally, Pisces will go right here. Oh my God, I'm done. I did all of them. Okay, next, I'll add the Big Dipper, and then I'll just put some random stars around. Nothing to see here, folks. It's just an abnormally large diamond right there, but other than that, that looks great. There's no self-deprecation in this household anymore. Just confidence. Wholesome confidence. Now, all I have to do is just do the skyline. So I'm going to first sketch that out with a pencil. So the New York City skyline, oh God, do I have to do the Statue of Liberty too? Probably. Okay, I can do this. I'm gonna start it off. The highest point will be around here, so I'll start it off around here. There isn't gonna be room for the Statue of Liberty, I can already see. I'm just gonna draw some tall buildings to make it look like New York City. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just changing a battery because I've been doing this all day. All right, ready? Three, two, one, time lapse. All right, that is the whole silhouette. Now it is time to just paint this all in black. Wish me luck, please. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be easy. Mm-hmm, just can't mess up at all or else my life will be ruined. So I'm gonna have to be very patient with this because I can't rush. Me and my shaky hand have to be very patient with this color because it's messed me up many times in the past. Why is this here? Why is there a dot here? All right, here we go. My hair is really getting in my way right now, but I'd rather show off my wavy hair. It's a sacrifice that is worth it. But goddamn, this is stressful and boring. Every time I make a straight line, it makes me happier. Yes, I know, Frederick, a gay guy making straight lines. Oh my God. Is the sun really setting? Mm. Oh, how do people have the time? Where do you find the time to sit down and just do this. This isn't even the Empire State Building. I have to paint up to here and do a straight line. That's impossible. Okay, don't know how I did it, but I made a small rectangle. My heart is beating very fast, guys. All right, now the Empire State Building. How do I want to go about this? The worst part is I have to make this symmetrical to the other side, so I have to draw many straight lines, actually. The Empire State Building is like 10 different rectangles. I have two done. Now I have to do the big fat rectangle. One side of the rectangle is done. It probably looks very clear on the camera, but that's not real life. That is farther away. I'm this close right now. All right, we're almost there. Actually, I'm like nowhere near the top. Oh my God. You know, when all this is done, I'm gonna text that friend who recommended this idea to me and just be like, that was casual. Give me another challenge. Even though this is one of the hardest things I've ever had to paint. Definitely taking the most time, but damn does it look good. I did all of it. Just one more step and that is the line. Did I really just do that? Oh my God, I did it. Oh my God, it's right there. As a relief, except there's another line I have to do, so I'm not fully done. Am I a painter now? Can I officially turn into an art channel and not some amateur artist? Will Joanna Cedia finally respect me? I just realized another 20 minutes have passed because my camera stopped recording yet again. Ooh, I did not do something straight. Don't even make the joke, I get it. Also, I don't know how people draw without turning their palette. Like, I'm only good at drawing straight lines this way. I don't know why. 
Let me know if you are like that too. Okay, there's another line I have to do, guys, so bear with me. Fuck, I ran out of paint. Okay. I did it. I did it, guys. Oh my god, it looks so cute! Alright, just one more tiny building, and then I'll just paint some lights on here and we should be done. Ooh, I'm done. I'm done. That's it. I did it. I can just stop right here. Like, this was my assignment to create the skyline, but... I want city lights. I'm gonna let it dry again fully, then I'll come back, put some yellow paint in, and then draw some city lights on, and that'll be it. See you in an hour. Much, much, much later. Okay, I'm finally almost done. I've let this dry. Now we're just gonna take some yellow because I believe city lights should be yellow instead of white. That's just... <gasps> Fine. I'll just use you for a little bit. Now, I don't like the idea of doing like 5,000 windows, mainly because I'm too tired to, so I'm just gonna do a couple. And that should give enough oomph to this painting. Another reason I'm not doing 5,000 windows is because you are bound to make one mistake with them. And if one of them doesn't look right, then the whole thing is ruined. I'm also just repainting this moon because it is still not fully opaque and that's bothering me. Great, now my moon is in a perfect shape. Damn it, I knew I shouldn't have gone back to it the moment I said it. Back to my lights. How is it not dried yet? I'm still getting black marks on my fingers. Oh, no! Mm, I have to cover that with black paint. Am I done? I think I'm done. I did not even use that much yellow at all, so I just wasted even more paint. Every time I waste paint, my parents are a little more disappointed in me. But one last step, I just have to cover up that yellow mark I made right here. I did it! <laughs> I didn't mess it up, nothing looks wrong, it's... it's perfect. And now all I have to do is just take a picture with it. Yeah, this looks really good, so... I'm gonna give a close-up of it. Look at all those details. That's still drying, by the way. Don't look at that. So much detail put into this. And that is all. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave a comment down below about what I should do next for painting. This is gonna be a lot to edit, but it'll be worth it. And subscribe for more videos every Saturday. And before I leave, it's time to read another coming out story for you guys. I'm gonna say this every time. If you don't know why I do this at the end of every video, it's because I want to promote being authentically yourself. As always, the person is anonymous, but they know who they are. I came out to my cousin a year ago saying that I was bi, and she was surprised that I told her, but she already knew. I have yet to tell my parents because they are extremely homophobic, but I will do it at an age when I have my own life to deal with. I'm still 12 here waiting for the right time to tell them. Next will be my BFF, and I hope she doesn't tell my parents about it. Um, you're 12 years old? Don't worry too much about it right now. You are already very brave for doing it at such a young age. And I think if she's your BFF, you can trust her. But that's all I have. So as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. All right, now how do I put this on? I don't think I did it right.